So this young gentleman has come for a patch test for his um, four eye spots of lips. Had some uh, 5% Emla cream on for uh, eight to 10 minutes. We wipe that away. This is the area we're going to treat. Just these four dye spots here. Often we'll do a patch test of the corner of the lip. But the paper, the client was quite interested in having, because the symmetry in the midline, these tested, so we'll, that's fine by us. As we can see, it's quite a dramatic distribution. Really very dramatic. So we're going to have our work cut out for us here, but we'll start with a simple patch test first, just to ensure that this treatment will be suitable for him. So, can you feel that at all? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, four ice on the lips is slightly different to four ice on the shaft of the penis. You can see that it's sort of a agglomeration of multiple small grain like saccules of sebum. So, what we just do is gently work the surface. And what we're going to do, just using a moist swab, is just simply lift and take off the epidermis here. And what that does, it exposes the grain slightly deeper. So we're going to swab as well. I think I should need a little bit more, just to allow us to get to the Rails themselves. Now, we must bear in mind this is a patch test, so we are going to go gentle because this is a proof principle that this is not going to cause an excessive scarring. But we now get a sense of the actual problem, which is in this layer here. Now, some of those granules will literally just swipe away with dry gauze. That's a lot of them gone there. Yeah, wow, okay. But most of them have gone. You can see them sort of distributed across the surface of the lip now here. Wow, okay. Normally you find a few of them are stubborn. You need a bit of extra encouragement with the laser, but you know, I think we pretty much know that now. Yeah? Yeah. And the margins here are tight, it's very thin tissue, so let's be careful. I don't want to get too, too deep. It's not the end of the world if we do. A little bit of pressure on any bleeding will make it stop after three or four minutes. But that's nice. And that will heal beautifully. But that's amazing. How long is it going to take the healing? Oh, healing is, well, the beauty, it's, it's, it's mouth and lips. I mean, it's bathed in saliva, which is full of the epidermal growth factor and a bunch of other uh, agents that promote wound healing. So those all those granules there. Um, and so literally in a matter of a few days, um, a bit like the, an ulcer on the inside of the mouth. I mean, it's why we lick our wounds as mammals, because the saliva is so good at promoting go, um, wound repair and healing. So is it not bleeding? No, well, the laser cauterizes and sterilizes as it goes. If anything, you know, just pinked him up a little bit just there. But that was not the laser, that was the, the sort of brute trauma, if you like, of the of the swab. But you know, it's not actually bleeding, it's just a little it's just a little bit of beading, but that's it, it looks lovely. Oh. So that's so the patch test from what you see here in principle is gonna clear it proves to me that we can clear these granules for you quite comfortably. We just now need to just let this settle, mm -hmm. see you in a few weeks' time and ensure that we don't see any excessive or unexpected scarring with relation to this. Mm -hmm. If we don't, then we perhaps want to clear the rest of these lips for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I just quickly show you what we've done? Yes. Yeah. So if I have a mirror, mm -hmm. I'll take this photograph mm -hmm. there, we'll just disable the laser. There we go. Good glasses. Oh yes, of course. Do you want to hold the mirror? That's great. Mm. So you see what we've done? We've, so we've mm -hmm. taken the surface off, and all the little yellow granules underneath we just mm -hmm. swept away. Yeah, I can see you, where they'll come out. You can see one or two of them on the surface of the lip. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Well done.